Morning folks, it's Monday morning um, and I thought I would do a little bit of an intro to today's vlog. Um, now a bit of a disclaimer, this vlog was so much better, you've got to take my word for it, but it really was. Um, but as I was uploading to iMovie, it came up on my phone saying there wasn't enough storage to do it, so I deleted all my videos, including the ones that were in the the vlog so I lost it all. So I've managed to scrape together a bit of footage and I've um, put together a, a really inferior version of the one I had before and cut it. Um, however I wanted to share it with you um, because this weekend we were out for our first outing as Team KA. Um, now Team KA is a, a group of our livery and coaching clients who have worked really really hard this winter to go out and compete in their first affiliated competitions this this year so on saturday was um three of them were going out to do their first um shows so we had bethany going out to how to do her first bs competition and fern and mary were going to netherton to do their first bd competition um so this video is really just to follow them on that journey. Um, it was a, a great day, lots to learn, lots to take away from it. Um, but watch it and see what you think. How are you feeling about tomorrow? Uh, really excited, yeah. We're doing um, two classes. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully we're gonna get some good results. Fantastic. Yeah. So how are you feeling about tomorrow? Um, quite excited. Um, I feel quite confident. Good. Um, yeah, I don't... Um, I just want to make sure you relax and stuff, don't really want them, um, you know, stress and that. Oh. Um, but yeah, I feel quite confident. How are you feeling about tomorrow? Good, yeah, a bit nervous. But... You feel prepared? Yeah, just need to go on the test a bit more. So Karen has gone home to get her kids and here we are with the girls after they've got their results. So what, what did you guys get? How do you feel? Um, I got second place and I got 55% and I got uh, first place and I got 66%. Well done to the girls. Fab day for Team KA. How, how do you feel about your result Mary? Uh, good. good. Did you get any good, what, what the good comments you got from the judges? Um, I don't know, I've not read it properly. <laughs> 66.7. How do you feel about this, Caroline? I, I'm thrilled. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Angie, how do you feel about Fern's results? <laughs> no! <laughs> so, I'm not doing I'm not doing it. I feel we need to go home. <laughs> Um, so as is the way with horses, um, there are good days and bad days and poor Bethany had, had a bit of a shocker. Um, uh, Tia, her horse, just really wasn't feeling it. Tia's a, a really talented horse um, with a great temperament and will be a super competition horse. And um, Bethany's a great wee rider. Um, but unfortunately, um, Saturday, the day of the competition, uh, Tia chose that day to be her first season of 2017 um, so she she really wasn't feeling it at all and then in the warm-up arena and um, threw in an enormous buck and poor Bethany had a bit of a fall and hurt her hip so um, like I say we've, we've since found out it was this season and we know that Tia doesn't cope well with her season she was on, on Regumate last year and she's back on Regumate as from from the weekend there so hopefully in a few days time the medication will kick in she'll be a lot more comfortable and Bethany can return to the sort of level that she was training at all winter so you know she's she's jumping 120 here no problem at all um, the plan had been to go out and do this first competition at a much lower class to make it easy but it just it just didn't happen um, but it is it's really it's so disappointing um, when you plan for something and you work really really hard um, and you want it to go well and you know the girls are all really young that are, that are part of Team K here. Bethany's 14, um, Mary's 13 and Fern's 12 and you know it's hard to deal with but you know that's that's horses you know you, you have probably more more challenging days than you do have big successes and you know hopefully Team K can be some you know a, a sort of a, a bit of support for them that you know we're all going to have good days we're going to have bad days and, and that 
it kind of is just just the way it is. So you take you take what you can from each experience, the good and the bad. Um, you celebrate when when you get the opportunity, um, and and you just you sort of head up, shoulders back, and you move on from the ones that aren't so good. Um, so that's kind of where we are with that. Um, Fern went out with Harry. Harry's um, her new horse she got at the end of last year. Um, he was actually here for schooling a couple of years ago. Um, and I've got a lot of time for him. I think he's a great wee horse. But Saturday there was his first ever competition. Um, and he actually coped incredibly well. He was distracted and a little tense, which reflected in the marks. Um, but uh, but uh, Fern coped really, really well with it, I thought. Um, and to come away with a, a, a second place, despite the marks that she got, um, I think was was great. It was really nice. And it was nice to see that... that um, Fern, you know, took away from it what she could and she's excited for the next competition, so that's brilliant. Mary um, had a stonker. She did really, really well and really stepped up. It was nice to see that the pressure of going to her first competition, her first affiliated competition, um, didn't affect her at all. If anything, it maybe gave her a boost and she, she rode incredibly well. It was a lovely test. She scored well and to come away with her first rosette is just fab. Um, so that was really, really nice to see. Um, so yeah, so that was our weekend. Um, we've got lots more planned. Um, we actually do have a Team Quest team. Um, unfortunately, two of them couldn't compete this weekend because um, their ponies were lame. So um, we're hoping to get out at the end of, next, uh, end of this month um, as a team and we'll take you on that journey too, no doubt. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and we shall see you again next week. Bye.